When we spoke a couple of weeks ago to Jeremy Griffith, the Australian biologist, he provided some staggering and authoritative observations. Jeremy Griffith said simply, eucalypts are incinerators from hell dressed up as trees. Greenies especially should note this. We have to view eucalypts as being like dangerous crocodiles planted tail down, ready to destroy lives and our world with estimates of over a billion animals having been killed by this summer's fires. Jeremy Griffith says there has to be a complete change of mindset when thinking about eucalypts that recognises their true nature. Now, David Bowman, a forest ecologist at the University of Tasmania, has asked, what the hell have human beings done? We've spread a dangerous plant all over the world. Well, you don't need inquiries, but the real enemy here is ideology and left-wing fanaticism. We thought we'd bring back Jeremy Griffith, and he joins us right here, the Australian biologist. Jeremy, good to talk to you. Thank you for your time. But, I mean, you're talking into an empty tank, aren't you? Yeah, it's very difficult. This is the problem. The, the humans suffer from an extreme psychosis and, and uh, there's a limit to what they want to see and they, they prefer just to find some cause they feel good about and at the ex exclusion of any rationale or, or common sense. You see, you sum it up brilliantly. A recent piece that appeared in The Spectator Australia, you said the management of our forests comes down to how to combat the irrational religious fanaticism of tree-hugging lefties. The re religious fanaticism. That's the problem, isn't it? Everywhere we look. Here they are here. Look at our pictures. They're all eucalypts. They've survived. Everything around has been wiped out. They survive. And they allow off the tree all this litter that comes onto the ground. And it's a furnace, isn't it? There they are wherever you go. And we've got a stack of them. We spoke, last time we spoke, not one media outlet reported a word you said, and it was at the height of the bushfires. You were saying, basically, just check out these eucalypts. Look at them. They're all eucalypts. You quote the psychologist Jordan Peterson, who has co commented on this attachment that people have to climate change as the new religion. You said, people have things within their personal scope of experience that are difficult to deal with and that they're avoiding. And generally, the way they avoid them is by adopting pseudo-moralistic stances on large-scale social issues so that they look good to their friends and neighbours. That's at work here, isn't it? Absolutely. Explain that human phenomenon. But, well, that, it's the human condition. Humans are, uh, suffer extreme psycho psychological difficulty with life and it's always the temptation to find some cause that, that, that brings them some relief from that, that insecurity at the expense of any rational, sensible, common sense analysis. And, and, and so that you end up with this, 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 this war between this, this um, pseudo-idealism. true, isn't it? You're saying, why is it because you're sort of being a bit philosophical about this. Why is it when you can't have fire without fuel and you must reduce the fuel and you must do something about the eucalypts? And the ordinary man says, as Graham just said, well, here it is, what are we doing about it? Why isn't there no action on those basic issues? Uh, and the most basic issue with the bushfires is surely that these things are incredibly fire adapted. They're extremely dangerous and that's not being fully acknowledged and the possibility of having to replant our forests, any suggestion of that nature, is just is confronts this problem of of the of the irrationality of of, of fanaticism from from extreme left wing. You see, Graham, this man's spoken about this. That's right, and and that's the problem. Everywhere we look, is this fanaticism of the left threatening. Uh, the millennials, you know, Jeremy Corbyn and. Um, um, in, in politics, just want to share everything and, and the irrationality of that, and there's, and there's no questioning of that. Look, eucalypts, you've got to be honest, eucalypts, it's like living with a psychopath in your midst, and, and, it, and if, you, if, it was a, if it was a human and a psychopath, you'd lock them up. So you, we've got to face that, that reality and, and think about them uh, sensibly rather than just feel, get, a, get some feel-good relief from, from uh, hugging them. Well, in, 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 uh, as Rebecca Weiss reported, in Portugal and Spain, yeah. they're starting to cut down the eucalypt forests, saying, uh, these are too dangerous, we don't want them. So it, it, it's a possibility that at some point, I said, in the future, we may have to come to the, accept that we need to replace some of our eucalypt forests. Ours are all over the world. I think we, 
got to deal with the underlying problem, which is the fanaticism of this feel-good industry of, of, the, of the left and the PC movement. Everywhere you look, it, it, it's, it's um, paralysing our ability to think rationally and behave rationally. And so that's what my article in uh, Spectator this week was all about, last week was all about, trying to uh, deal with that, how, how we can bring... Um, rational understanding to the danger of yeah. reason versus uh, dogma. Yeah.